ACN has become such an amazing company that a lot of times it's, it's, it's difficult to verbalize uh, how impactful it's been in so many people's lives. And we're attracting people today that uh, for all intents and purposes, they don't, they don't need an ACN in their lives financially, but they just, they're a part of ACN because of what ACN has done for them. And now these people have recognized what ACN can do for others through them. And Mr. Todd Stottlemyer. She's awesome, huh? So, I want to start where really it, ACN really started for me probably before ACN even started because it was inspired for me to play Major League Baseball when Yankee Stadium was a playground. That inspiration came from Mickey Mantle, Whitey Ford, Yogi Berra, Roger Maris. That inspiration came from my mentor, my hero, my father, Mel Sotomayor. And running around Yankee Stadium as a little child, as a little boy, having that dream and then to live out that dream, to live my American dream, I still pinch myself, I'm still thankful. And then to go on and as a young adult to play 15 years of Major League Baseball and then to be partnered up with the Dave Winfields, the Paul Malders, the Ricky Hendersons, the Dennis Eckersleys, the Dave Stewarts. I can go on and on and on of all the great Hall of Fame players that I played with and because I had great teammates I landed on three world championship baseball teams. <clears throat> it's about a team and it's about people and it's about having a teammate and like these men and it's about a dream and a vision and retiring in 02 with time and money where we had amassed millions and millions of dollars where it was preached into our minds about diversification and our diversification faced the exact same recession that this entire nation faced and what we found out was diversification didn't exactly work out. So at one day, my beautiful wife, my soulmate, a mother, stayed home mom of four, all five foot two of her. I'm personally growing right now because I'm in trouble later. All five foot two of her walked in our front door. She looked six eight, had hair hanging from her teeth that she had just found our answer. And when she said she had found a business and it was the middle of 09, towards the end of 09 where we were losing companies daily, I said I was businessed out and I gave her the hand and I said, no, thank you. One week later, she put me in front of the presentation for me to go value the opportunity for her. And I said, okay, well, how long is it gonna take? And she says, one hour. And I said, okay, that's great. So you have one hour. Trust me, be in the car when it strikes an hour because I'm gonna be on my way. I'm a lot tougher in front of all of you right now. I'm going to need your help later on this one. <laughs> After the hour, I wasn't sure what I witnessed. I was invited to an international convention two days later. Fortunately, right time, right place. Anaheim wasn't sold out back in December of 2009. I walked out of the boardroom not after an hour, but after two hours and then three hours of trying to figure this out. I said, Erica, what are we doing this weekend? She says, why? I said, we're going to Anaheim. I said, if we're going to go see the opportunity, let's go see it the right way. Let's go meet the right people. I'll never forget walking in the door. About 10 minutes to 9, the music blaring people waving things. I was like, I've seen this before, but I was on a playing field. 
We took about 10 steps in the arena. Or, and I looked at Eric and I said, thank God we came because there is no way I'm doing that. Is this what you wanted me to say, boss? Whatever you want. <laughs> but we were there. We made a commitment to the gentleman who invited us. We then went up and sat and watched. We got a chance to go backstage and meet Mr. Robert Stevanoski. That was a big deal, to hear his vision, to understand where they came from. We went back and we sat in our seats. We watched RVP promotions. We had all these people around us and my eyes start to water and I'm like, oh, I'm in trouble now. I'm supposed to be this big tough guy and I'm like, I hope nobody's watching me cry right now. And I remember sitting in my seat, listening to Mr. Provenzano, understanding that they were, this organization was part of the Ronald McDonald House, a place I vid visited as a child. And I started to feel like I was at home for the first time in my life. And I remember looking to Eric and I said, what in the world is God doing to us now? Because our life not only changed at that moment, our life was saved. ACN was that life preserver. And I thank God for these men, for this opportunity. To win at anything, it's going to take sacrifice. I know you've all heard it. It's going to take commitment. The SVPs have told us that, these co-founders. It's also going to take making a decision, because no matter what you do in your life, to reach the pinnacle, it's going to take a decision. So if you're not standing, will you stand with me for one second in closing? So you paid the $4.99, you attended the event, you paid the $4.99 because when you did what you've seen, you've seen what we've seen, you've seen hopes and dreams, you begin to dream again where we have a nation that forgot to dream, and you're here and you made the commitment and sacrifice to get to Charlotte, North Carolina, so it's your turn to make a decision. And your decision is, you're going to make the greatest financial decision of your life today by never quitting. So will you with me? Repeat after me. I. Not good enough. I. I love that. Will. Never. Quit. God bless you, ACN.